Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 70 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Part Works. And we're going to be adding on the pink stripe and beige patchwork frame around our central panel applique. With issues number 69 and this one, which is issue 70, we've received our beige fabric and our pink stripe to create the patchwork frame. This is how the patchwork frame looks around our central panel applique. To make the patchwork frame, we've got the templates here at the back of the magazine. We've also got the layout formation that we need to follow around our applique. Let's get cracking! I've photocopied these two template pieces onto light card and I've cut them out. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be using template O as I made my own corners in the last episode, but I'll definitely be using template N. I'm going to start cutting template N, four of them out of the beige fabric. We're going to use the smaller beige fabric for the template N. Let's get cutting. Our four N beige pieces have been cut out. We're now going to be cutting out the L and the M pieces. There's no template piece for that because we're just going to be folding our fabrics in half and quarters depending on the fabric and just cutting them. I'm going to start cutting this pink stripe. This pink stripe is the M piece and we need to fold it in half with the pink stripe horizontal orientation. I'm going to fold it in half and press a firm crease in the center and that will be my cutting line. And now for our L pink stripe pieces. These are going to be folded in half with the vertical orientation of the stripe. And we're going to cut out two of them. I'm going to be making a crease in the center and that is our cutting line. And lastly, our beige L pieces. We're going to be folding this piece into quarters so we'll have four exact pieces. I'm going to fold the fabric in half, make a crease and then cut it in half. And the same again for each piece, leaving us with four lengths. got all of our patchwork frame pieces cut out. I'm going to set up my sewing machine and then start stitching it all together. My machine's all set up. I'm going to stitch together the side lengths first. I'm going to stitch one, two, three pieces, two beige and one pink stripe twice.
one side panel stitched together, I'm now going to stitch the other side. We've got our two side panels stitched and ready to go. We're now going to be stitching together the top and the bottom panels. To make the top and bottom panels, we're going to stitch together the M and N pieces to create two strips. Our four patchwork frame strips are stitched together. I'm going to give them a press. Our next step is to stitch the top and bottom pieces onto our central panel applique. I'm going to stitch the top one on first and then the bottom. But before I stitch it, I'm going to pin it into place. It's time to stitch. top and bottom patchwork frame on our central panel. I'm going to give it a press and then stitch the two side panels. So I've stitched on the top and side panels of our patchwork frame. I'm going to pack the machine away, give this a press and show you what I've done. And here we have our pink and beige patchwork frame around our central panel applique. I did have considerable trouble with the green border which then put the corners out of whack which then put this patchwork frame out of whack. 
I'm very happy with how it turned out considering I had such difficulty with the green frame. I'm not too concerned that the green frame or border is of different thicknesses and widths and it's not very consistent because in the next episode we're going to add the swirly blue vines all around it and we're also going to applique roses onto this border and things are going to get hectic. Thank you for joining me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes and I look forward to seeing you next time when I begin to applique the blue swirly vines onto our central panel applique. Until next time, bye!